All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today we're going to be talking about a few different ways that you can style your text inside of Discord using what's called Markdown Text. So what is Markdown Text? It's basically you add stuff like arrows or brackets and stuff like that to your text, and then when you put that in there, Discord automatically translates that into things like italic text, bold text, strike throughs, all of that, so that you can kind of add some emphasis to what you're writing. So for example, if you wanted something to be bold, you would say, hello everyone, I got this. And then we'll put a couple stars, great new image of turtles to show you. And then you can see it's already previewed. This text is becoming uh, bolded. So when I post this, look, it's bold now. And I can delete that and add other stuff. So there's a whole bunch of different things that you can do using the markdown text for Discord. And I will put a little link in the video description of a little guide list on GitHub that they have to show you all the different examples in case you forget from this video, because it's always good to have a quick reference. But you can do things like make text italic, and I believe italic is underscore italic. And it just is the little slant to italicize your text. And then you can do underlined uh, italics by adding uh, underline star fancy underlined italics and then another little star and then an underline and then it gets slanted and it should be underlined oh, no, i guess it doesn't i guess that's more of like a bold italic that's how you do that and then you can do like doubly bold by doing like underline super bold star star this and then it'll be bold and underlined. So you can kind of mix and match these to a certain degree to add different effects. Then you've also got some strike through. So if you add the little swizzle here next to the number one, shift that strike through. And so it'll just put a little line through whatever text that you're trying to write to say like, oh no, that's not correct. Let me write this instead. You can also do quotes. So uh, I can quote turtle speak and then you go like shift enter and then you do like an arrow space and then this allows you to write about some quoted text and then here you can see it's indented it so that you can quote something that's how you do quoted text and then beyond that you also have the option to do like chunks of code so that you can represent bits of code. So to illustrate lines of code, you would do this little weird dot underneath of the swizzle next to the number one. It's the tilde key, they call that. And when this is a line of fancy code from some mysterious bot. And then you would do another little dot and then it'll add a box like you would see if you started adding code and you can put whatever you want in there that's actual code and it'll kind of highlight it as such. And speaking of highlights, you actually do have the ability to add different CSS to your to your messages. So you can literally put um, dot 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 CSS and then it'll allow you to you know write write a bunch of stuff as if it was website code and you can style it that way. That's another way that you can offer a lot of really cool stuff. And they support a whole host of different programming languages that you can write about. You can do different types of programming, Markdown, Python. All of that stuff is actually natively supported by Discord. So if you know how to program, there's a whole different list of ways that you can make fancier looking posts using different colors of text and all that stuff using the programming languages that you're already relatively familiar with. So that's been a brief look at some of the markdown syntax that you can do. 
inside of Discord. I'll put some links in the video description so you can look at the Discord article and also the one on GitHub in order to get a better idea of how it works. Until next time, I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to uh, like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.